I'm ready. None of these are your books. They're all mine. I'm ready. What's going on, guys? Mikaji here with Kaivox, who just created his Goodreads account. Wait, how do I go to my account? I don't know. So his name on there is Kaivox if you want to add him. Mine is Mikachi if you want to add me if you haven't already. Um, That's my account. Yay. So he ha he hasn't really like put all of this. I gotta put a his... picture of me like this. I have my little kitty face that you made me. Ah, nice. So you gotta start using that. And... I'm gonna use it every day. This is gonna be the wrap up for July. We're a little late with it. And then the TBR for August. Um, your TBR for August is crazy. Because most of it was that book tubeathon. Now that I think of it, my TBR for August. You already read a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I read all of them. I know, but anyway, you didn't read the Bone Season yet. Yeah, you're right. This you is right, spoilers. Girl. You're right, girl. Okay. You're right. <laughs> so for July, I actually only finished three books, which seems like nothing, but they were all pretty long books. So the first book I finished was Starless by Jacqueline Carey. I actually got this book sent to me by Tor for review. This book is pretty darn big. How big was it? 600, no, 587 pages, so almost 600 pages. You finished it? Yeah. Oh. I gave this a 3.5 out of 5. I feel like the premise could have been so cool the idea behind this world was really cool this is one where the stars were punished and sent to earth and they all lived as gods on earth and depending on where you live oh they were trying to catch him this no. the one they were trying to catch the angels no 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 that's no. a different one yes sounds the same no in this one the stars were gods living in the sky and then they got punished by i think the moon was their father and he threw them down on earth and depending on where you lived in this world you basically worshiped a different god and you had huh. a different god living amongst you huh. um but they were magical like huge beings and like they weren't typical like humanoid gods really like one of them was basically like a pillar of sand and the other one was like yeah it was like weird but it had a cool premise um I feel like it could have been done better. I feel like that that's the main synopsis you get when reading the back of this story, but really that doesn't have a ton to do with the story. Like it it does and it doesn't. You're essentially following a young boy who is destined to help a princess. And in the beginning he's being trained to help this princess and he goes through all sorts of rigorous training, basically living in this like what's the word I'm thinking of? Like a I don't know, you're telling the story. I don't know your story. <laughs> <laughs> he basically lives in like a... God, hold on. In a god? In a house. In a shoe. Like Mother Goose. This doesn't tell me. Anyway though, he lives with like a bunch of monkey type people that all like teach him how to like be awesome. And as... Like, he... like Mowgli? <laughs> like, like... Mowgli? He lived in the jungle. Yeah, but he lived with, like, wolves and animals. No, I mean, like, monks. You said monkey. <laughs> you said monkey-type people. Like, Monk you, you like, know that, right? Yeah. You said monkey-like monkey, I got it now. monkey -like people, you know? like Monks. Jeez. Who taught him how to, like, be awesome. And then, it, basically, like, in his world, only one of him, his kind, usually exists at a time. And... I don't know. It's a huge premise. I could talk about this book forever, just giving you details. I gave it a 3.5 because I did enjoy the story. There wasn't enough, even though there was a lot of character development, I feel like I didn't care about the characters that much. Hmm. Um, and some of the characters downright just annoyed the crap out of me. And also, I feel like some of my favorite characters just kind of like fell off the face of the earth. Um, in the beginning and then you don't really hear from them again and it's just like i don't know i feel like i wish i i liked the characters better the story could have been more interesting there really weren't like any super crazy plot twists or anything and there were i don't know it was average but i did enjoy it i felt like it deserved a little bit more than average so i gave it a 3.5 you gotta rate it dude oh you forget these things I'll hold this. You rate it. So these we recently just started doing this. Uh, it's a new thing. Whoa, hey, whoa. let me explain the rules first. So we rate them. Up here is best. Down here is not so best. 
and therefore uh, these are my books because I'm Kai Vox and this is Mika Chi. For some reason, I made the name tags backwards because we always sit in this orientation. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I didn't think about it. So there you go. There you have it. And there now you get to rate it. Put it right, right up, right. This is the middle. This is the middle. You can put it next to it. You don't have to put it on top of the other book that's covering up the name. Why? why, why is... Okay. Why are you going to put it here when you could put it like right here or something? Because you, I don't know, we're going to run out of space. I know. Right there. Yeah, sure. I'm just saying, you're, you're literally going to cover up part of this for no reason. You only cover it up when you need to. You see? Okay. Mine are all not covered, except for that one, but that's because it's the same book. Same series. They're all crooked. Yeah, because I'm a bad arse. <laughs> All right. All right. So wait, I have a question for you. Since what? I said arse, is that a swear in yeah. British? <gasps> Hopefully you're not you British. You bleep it out. <laughs> All right. So then, the next two books. So the only other. Wait, two can books... I go next now? Can I? Can I have a turn? No. Please. Because you already read these two. Well, right, I want to well, talk right, about right, a right. book that I read. Okay, go. Um, I want to talk about this one, Sleeping Giants. I read it part of the book two bathon thing day two last month i loved this book i thought it was really good it was surprising i didn't actually physically read the real book i listened to the audiobook and i highly recommend the audiobook there should be a link down below if you guys want to check out audible of this uh it's like an affiliate link but um we're not getting paid to tell you that yeah but we use audible like we use it all day. the time and we would only recommend stuff to you that we actually like so this is Probably one of the best audiobooks I've ever listened to. Like really? the, a full cast. Everybody seems to be great. Like the acting wise, it's debatable. So some people may not like the acting, but I thought it was really good. Uh, people are always judgy based on acting. Yeah. Some people love actors. Some people hate them. So audiobooks, I thought, I'm not too picky with acting. Like I feel like that's because I'm so terrible at reading out loud that like I'm like anyone who could do it in a decent compa capacity. So one big thing that I like about this, I hate in books, audiobooks, when people scream and they do that like ah. quiet scream. It's like, and then she went, ah, and it's like, what was that? That wasn't a scream. This, they legit scream. Okay. So that just, I, when I heard that, I literally got goosebumps. I was like, oh my God, what just happened? It was great. Um, the story is really cool. Sci-fi. Um, and it's... Um, I, I really like this book. And I, I, I read the second one too, but that's for next. You gotta get the next one. That's for next. I, I'm, 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 I don't want I don't want it to end yet. So I'm kind of like just like I'm gonna wait because that's the last Pump one. The breaks. That's the last one, and I did both of these in in a week. So I was like, oh, I don't want I don't want it to end yet. I just wanted to kind of like I want this to settle in a little bit more for me to like you know right, really right. get it. But I liked it. It was sci-fi, and um, I don't want to tell anything about it. But you can see that there's this. Um, we gotta start showing in our in our this this uh this giant hand here. It's a robotic hand. In the back. And then the back has a um a a giant head, robotic head. Um. But we gotta start. And you have to remind me when we do book hauls, which we're filming next, so that's coming soon. But when we do book hauls, we have to show the the, the naked book mm, because okay. I never do that, and I feel like. Sometimes they're really cool, and I, I have a tendency not to look at them. Here you go. I'll show you guys this one. Nakey. All right. So what did you rate it? Five? Um, yeah, you gave it a five. I already, I already spoiled it, but it's right up here. And it's also a spoiler for these other books that I read. So <laughs> maybe we shouldn't show that. It's fine. We also had our book club book books for last month. And uh, one of them was Book of M, which we both read. Um, have we talked about this already? I we don't did. Know. We did. So it's in another video if you want like our in-depth spoilery talk. Mm -hmm. we but did that a, is a spoiler Yeah, and we review. did a specifically like book club spoiler review where, so if you haven't read it, I wouldn't recommend watching that, but you know, maybe you want to watch it anyway if you never plan on reading it. But, um... It's definitely worth the read. It's an interesting concept. Yeah. The world that the author created is very interesting. Essentially, um, this what do you call it, an epidemic mm -hmm. happens yeah. and people start losing their memories or their shadows, excuse me. And along with your shadow, you eventually lose your memory. And it's not just like, oh, I don't remember my childhood. It's like, I remember, I don't remember to survive and to like breathe. eat and breathe and stuff like that. So it's really scary. I don't remember that it's not safe to go underwater and yeah. walk through water. Yeah. And But 
there is kind of a kind of a. What are those means? There is kind of a magical element to it. I don't want to go into too much detail because no, on the back... It. You already gave enough. No, I know. And on the back, they do talk about it being magical, but there's a reason, and it's really cool, I think. I had a couple of hang-ups with this book, which I don't really want to go into detail because it might spoil it. I think one thing... Spoiler. I can't. I can't today? today. I can't. Um, I think what, the main gripe that we both had was that they didn't explain enough at the end. And I don't think that's a spoiler. I just think you should know that before you get into it. So like... If you want to know why this is happening in the world, you're not going to find out. It doesn't out. explain it. So if you don't... If you can't live with that, then don't... Probably don't read this book. That's not can, what bothered me. Other things bothered me, which if you want to know, go watch that spoiler video. But I gave this a four out of five. I think you gave it like a three. So that was mine and that's his. Yeah. So that makes sense. But, um, I mean, it's a definitely enjoyable book. It's unique. It's interesting. It's definitely, like, a post-apocalyptic world. Like, a lot of it, I had, like, a Walking Dead-ish feel. Yes, of course. And anything, like, Yeah, post-apocalyptic. You know, post-apocalyptic is like that, so. But it was, I think it's worth the read. Post-epidemic epidemic, Epidemic. Epileptic. 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 Post-epileptic. <laughs> and then the next book was, uh, was Poppy War that we read for the book club, um, and... I gave it, I think, a three. And I, I gave it, like, a two. This book is also in that spoiler video if you want to go check it out, so yeah. Yeah, you gave it a three. I gave it a two, dude. <laughs> it, was, so it was not the this best. This book has been, like, crazy on YouTube lately, or BookTube, excuse me, and people are loving it. And in the beginning, I loved this book. I thought it was so cool. I would say the first third of the book yeah. was amazing. It's separated into three parts. And then every time they jump through those parts, it gets worse. In it's my like, opinion. No, but it's like, and you should know this because I didn't know this going into this book. The whole dynamic of the book changes completely every time they and skip And I would parts. say in not a good way. And not for me, at least, because what either. I liked about this book was the beginning. And if they continued in that fashion, which it almost gave me a Nevernight feel. Yeah, because it was like a school kind of thing. But it wasn't like a, a typical school. Yeah, it was it was like a, a training. YA like school for the gifted. I don't think gifted. this is supposed to be YA, but just so you know. Was Nevernight is Nevernight YA? No, I don't think so. Because it better not be. Cause There's too <laughs> much. Too much inappropriate sexy things in stuff. there. There's none of that in this. Thank goodness, because that's one thing that I hate about books when they add that stuff in for no reason. It's like I love if a it. character's gonna have an intimate time, character had intimate time. The end. That's all I need. I don't need to. No, you don't need to describe it's nice. what was in their hand and <laughs> what 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 went where. Like I don't need to know those things. Like please, just I don't. It Jay Kristoff, keep doing it. Don't keep do it. it. Stop, yes. please. Yes. It's disgusting. Oh, oh, and I heard. I no. heard. No, please stop. Stop it now. In the next book, there's some sexy time between a certain character that, like, I'm like, yes, please. I hate you. Anyway, so you can't know about it until... Just go read God's Grace. I'm gonna finish it. So anyway, I I really, really, really loved the beginning, and then it just went from there. I feel like a lot of the characters that I loved in the beginning just, like, changed completely. Like, one of the main characters that I loved is just not the same later on in the book, and you, you look at them in a whole different Master light. Master Roshi, right? Yeah. yeah. And I feel like he should have been written different in the beginning because it's a different character later. It's not that just this main girl character, which I don't even remember her name, Rin, is experiencing him in a different way. I feel like he is a different character. And that's what bothered me. It's like, it's almost like not being consistent with your character writing. Because I can understand sometimes when a character is growing and developing and they see the world in a different way and that's why the characters seem different to them but this just did not seem that way to me i don't know maybe i'm i'm thinking too deep into it but anyway i, I agree with everything she said um it was the beginning was good the rest was just kind of like ah oh, this is super boring the characters were like pretty boring to me they were kind of just like very one-sided they didn't have any like the reasoning for doing things were just like I'm doing this because I have to. And this, this is why I need to do it. 
character you know development, what? We, right? We talk about this late in that spoiler. But honestly, if you want really spoilery details, it's in that other video with the Book of M. But yeah, I think we should stop. Yeah, let's stop. All right, so that so was that. And then you, you read got? one other. That's you, all I read. That's all you read? <laughs> I also read this. This is our... August. August. This month's uh, book club book. One of them. There's a there's a video for that too. Oops. If you guys want to go check that out. I'll, pu I'll put it up. Up in the corner. Up in the little... Up in the left over there. Left? Right. Left. 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 Right. Right. <laughs> what? Wait. You're putting huh? a, a video? You're <laughs> yeah, linking the, a video? The, the, the it corner. shows up on the right, I think. I'll put it up in the up right. Up here. in the right. You sure that's the right? Yeah. That's your right. But is it... Is it no, up there? it's this right. No, me, because it's flipped backwards. Oh my bad. Whatever. Over there. Whatever. <laughs> Our left there, right. Um, so this is when the book the, the book club you haven't read it yet. You haven't even no, started it I yet. I don't know what it's about. Um I haven't rated this yet on my awesome board I made, but um I'm gonna save it for sticking it on there for the so book club. So what'd you rate video. it? I liked it. It was it was like uh I would give it like a, okay, look, I always have to explain this to you guys because some people think that threes are not good. They're not, they're kind of eh. Threes are good books. No. Are read, are reads, right? Threes are like, yeah, you should read it. It's pretty good. Um, now. No, see, when I look at good reads and I see a three, I'm like, I don't know if I want to read that book anymore because that might suck. That's not what I think. I feel like. But uh, you are the minority with that. So like, maybe you shouldn't rate books like that. Well, I think it's because people are, because like, look. You need to have a top, right? If you if if the the top is here and then the next one up is really good and then the next one sucks, that doesn't make any sense. It's average. It's like there's nothing really great about it and there's nothing really bad about it. That's where a three is. It's just kind of like okay. This I would give like a then a three point five. Three point five. All right. Something like that, because no. Cause cause, I feel like a three point five is good, but it's not fantastic. Because like and okay. five is just like all right, all right. So like a five is the best. There's there's other ones that are also the best. There's very few books that I rate a five. Most of my books I would say are a three to a four. Yeah, but you can't give they it. Really you suck. can't like give it a four point nine. You know, so you could if you wanted. Why not? So this is like a three a three and a half. Okay. Okay. Um, it's good. It's um. It has a chalky feel. It's a. Uh, it's more of, kind of like a murder mystery. Mm-hmm. Which I didn't know that's what it was going to be. They don't make um, it seem that way. No. It's kind of like a murder mystery, a little bit of a horror type thing. Okay. Not a slasher or anything like that. Okay. But more of a mystery, I would I would describe it as. It's pretty good. Um, I we don't you normally read stuff like that. No, we don't. We usually but stick sometimes with it's nice. fantasy and stuff yeah. like that. But it was, yeah, it was different. It was, it, there may be other books like this that are better out there. But we don't know that. Like, we don't read stuff like mm -hmm. this, so like... People that read a lot of like mystery and thriller might think that this book sucks. Yeah, that's but, the thing. For but, for us, this book was pretty good. <laughs> but um, but for but others, that's because we don't have any experience in those books. Yeah. So um, so pick up this book if you want to, <laughs> and if you want to uh, join us for the book club. Did I say it right? Book club. We're making it sound super like ghetto now. Uh, if you want to join us for the book, uh, join it, and we'll, we got fun. All right. All right. Um, it's, when is it? When's the book club? I think August 26th. August 26th. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. 2 p.m. Eastern time. Standard Time. I said it too at the same time. So, so, all you have to do. All you gotta do. Is read one of the books or both of the books. Just read one of the books or both The other books. book is Bone Season. The other I don't book know what the heck is, it is Bone Season. Stop repeating me. I will. You're making it confusing. You're confusing me. All right. So, that's, that's those books. Um, this is just. Hold on, hold on. Let me adjust. Let me adjust my chair. Just quickly, this I didn't is move at all. The so you know. second book that we're reading for the book club, if you want to read it. I haven't started it yet. How far are you? Uh, I'm almost done. I have like an maybe an hour ish left. Wow! Wow! But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Let us know down below if you read any of these books. If you plan on reading it. And as as usual, if you have any recommendations for books that you want us to read, I like fantasy and sci-fi. Those are kind of my two main genres that I like. What is what is kind of yours? Probably. Don't fantasy. copy me. Why you copy me? What are you talking about? You like you don't like the same book as me. Anyway, leave a comment down below if you have any recommendations. If you think we're completely wrong and off base with our ratings on any of Which these. Which we're not, because you're wrong. We are happy Bring to it. hear other opinions. We don't yeah. speak for me. 
Who Thank you, you guys you for is? watching. I like my books and you like your books. Right? Bye.